You don't have to buy a course. Let me tell you that, all right, right now. Even going down the path of uh, studying all the free content out there will get you enough to get started, all right? You can go to YouTube and find questions on how to start an Amazon business. There's a lot of free education and free resources. So I, I want to make sure that the reason that I'm telling you this, because I'm a big believer in education, obviously, Martin, you know that um, I have trainings, mm -hmm. I have podcasts, I have uh, uh, pro entire programs on different subjects from Facebook advertising. So I'm a believer in education. But I'm also a believer in not having excuses, more importantly. So if somebody tells me, look, Manuel, the thing is that I cannot afford your programs. Well, let me tell you something. There's so much free information out there that if you put attention on it, you're going to get enough data that otherwise you would have to pay for it. Now, what is the difference between all the free information and what you get on a course, like the ones that I sell or anybody else out there sells? When you buy a course, when you have the advantage, the wherewithal of having money to buy a course, you get the perk of having a roadmap. Mm -hmm. You get to go from step A, step B, step C, et cetera. And that is the advantage of a course. But if you are in a condition that all you can afford is a cell phone bill and you don't have any money to buy a $1,000 course or $500 course, I want you to know that any excuse that you have is not valid. You can listen to podcasts, you can watch YouTube series, trainings, you can watch so much content out there. There's so much education that the excuse of I cannot afford a course is no longer valid. The roadmap for somebody that doesn't have any money would have to be get all the content out there that's free as much as possible consumed. Get started. And at some point, if you do things right, if you fail enough and pick yourself up and keep going, at some point, you will be able to actually invest on a course so you can follow more of a detailed outline. That's the way that you actually have to get this done for you to be able to continue the growth. I can tell you that in my case, Martin, I had no money. My dad didn't have any money. I didn't have any solution for that. What I did was that I focused on doing as much free training as possible. I did this course with my brother-in-law through the Rapid Crush program and these guys that I got all excited about. Mm -hmm. And then I did a lot of free training. I listened to podcasts. Uh, instead of listening to music, I was actually listening to training. I, I bought $10 audiobooks. Uh, I read and read and watched and watched. And just for a year, I looked at how do I get really good at this? How do I become a professional in this area? At this point, I can tell you that I still, this is 2014 now, okay, 2014. Yeah. Yeah. One year of no training. I still do not have money to invest in a brand because this is a reality. If somebody's telling you that you can start your own brand with $200, they're lying to you, all right? You need some money. You need a couple thousand dollars to invest to create your own brand, all right? It doesn't have to be a lot, but you need some money to get started, yeah. to do some initial marketing, to get some, uh, for example, positioning on Amazon, to get some e-commerce sales. You do need some capital, right? So that's a reality. So I had to figure out at some point, I'm going to learn so much. I'm going to study so much that I'm going to become an asset to anybody else out there. So what happened was that I had a friend who also still works with me, who uh, in my, I had a job. He was also working there. This friend, uh, he was selling bed sheets on the road. I saw this and I was like, wow, I wonder if we grab this same concept and send this inventory to Amazon instead of having to sell it on the streets. I wonder if that's going to work, right? So now, so what we did was that we actually grabbed those same bed sheets and I said, uh, I said uh, 200 of them, uh, let's just start with that, 200 of them, and we printed labels on our computer, all right? Computer, just super cheap design. Printed them out, cut them off, Grab those labels, remove the Clara Clark. I mean, I'm not kidding. Go to, oh, Amazon and, yeah. go to Amazon and check Clara Clark, all right? And you see that? You're going to see those labels that are at the top. All we did was that we removed those labels and we put brand new labels on it. And that was our brand. And our brand was, was called Cozy House Collection, C-O-S-Y. And then us, 
in our pajamas at nine o'clock at night, uh, me and um, two other guys, we, before, without me investing a penny, we took this brand, we put it on Amazon, and this Amazon brand, within nine months, it was doing $100,000 a month. Within 18 months, it was doing $600,000 in sales a month. Just like that. From our kitchen in our pajamas. This is totally an idea. Like this era that we have in front of us, mm -hmm. we take for granted. We are using these phones all the time. We're all communicating over the internet. And supposedly presidents are being elected with the use of it. But we don't understand the power that it has to help us build brands. And that's the idea. And that's my goal is to help people wake up. Somebody like me, ex-drug addict, bankrupt, uh, no training, no marketing career, no degrees. I'm able to build six figures, seven figures, eight figure businesses like that. So what is it? Is it because I'm a genius or is it because I woke up to the opportunities and decided to do something about it? It's actually quite magical, right? I, don't, I see a lot of people around me that are smarter than me. I just decided to do something about it. And that's all, right? And it's a process. It's a process for all of us, but the opportunity is basically quite big for any of us that want to get something done to take advantage of it.